Insomniac Spider-Man is out in just a little over a week for the PS4. Though we looked at 15 different things that players may not know about the game, the sheer amount of information since then has prompted us to look at 16 additional details worth mentioning. Venom not appearing. We've seen plenty of classic Spider-Man villains confirming their presence in the game, from Electro, Mr. Negative, and Vulture, to Rhino, Kingpin, and Shocker. However, art director Jacinda Chu confirmed that Venom, one of the most synonymous villains, would not be appearing. Official Marvel Comics Canon Insomniac originally pitched Spider-Man PS4 to be part of its own universe, doing its own thing with pre-established norms, but offering a relatively familiar world. However, Marvel Comics recently confirmed that Insomniac Spider-Man would be getting his own Earth within the Marvelverse. Not only that, but he would be crossing over with other Spider-Man properties in the upcoming Spider-Geddon comics event. The comic's out on September 26th, so there's plenty of time to catch up on the PS4 version beforehand. Different Suits We already mentioned in an earlier feature that Spider-Man would have different kinds of suits. These include the classic Spider-Man outfit, the advanced suit, seen in most trailers till now, the Spider-Punk outfit whose ability sends out sound waves via electric guitar to assault enemies nearby, the Iron Spider outfit from Avengers Infinity War, and the Velocity suit. We're still unaware of the abilities of many of these suits or all of them present in the game, but there's plenty to collect as the story progresses. Review Embargo If you're doing everything humanly or inhumanly possible to avoid spoilers, then rest easy. Insomniac confirmed that the embargo for reviews lifts on September 4th. Reviews will go live that day at 7am PT and 10am ET, so it won't be long before we find out just what critics think of the game. Sunset Overdrive Influences When Spider-Man's gameplay was first showcased in its entirety, one thing that everyone noticed is just how similar the movement and traversal felt to another Insomniac game's property. We're talking about Sunset Overdrive, which launched for the Xbox One in October 2014. As it turns out, when creative director Brian Inthahara was in talks with Sony, he showed them a review for Sunset Overdrive that said, it would be cool to see Insomniac grapple with a Spider-Man game. Speaking to EveryEye.it, Inthahara went on to detail how the open world design and movement system of Sunset Overdrive were conveyed into the Spider-Man experience. So if you enjoyed the trippy romp through Sunset City, then you might just enjoy Spider-Man all the more. Creating new gadgets Spider-Man won't just be relying on combat and comic timing to battle the various forces of evil. He'll also have web bombs and other neat gadgets to help out. How does one go about creating these devices? Well, in a recent trailer called Just the Facts Combat, at 1 minute and 41 seconds, we see a bit of a mini-game that the player must solve to aid in the creation of new items. How it ultimately plays out and where the different voltage bits must be collected still remains to be seen. Sanctum Sanctorum and Avengers Tower in a recent trailer showcasing the open world of Spider-Man, Insomniac offered a brief look at two interesting sites. If you pay close enough attention, then Doctor Strange's Sanctum Sanctorum and the Avengers Tower will be seen at one point. Given that they and many other Marvel properties are located in roughly the same city, it makes sense to include them. No Avengers That being said, don't expect Spider-Man to cross over with any existing Marvel property within the game. Creative director Brian Inthahar responded to a tweet from a fan asking if the Avengers or any other type of heroes would be seen with a definitive no. And while the phrase never say never may hold some weight, it seems that Spidey's adventure will purely focus on him with no other hero hogging the spotlight. Subways and fast travel. The subway system isn't just for looks. Sure, you can't fully explore it and see where the various tunnels lead, but it does allow for fast traveling throughout the world. Perfect for all those times you don't feel like web-slinging from one end of Manhattan to the other, even though it builds character. Invisible Hut In case you do feel like web-slinging all around Manhattan regardless of how long it takes, things become a bit more cinematic in the process. According to Inthahar on Twitter, HUD elements like the health bar, gadgets, and suit power will be turned off while players are casually traveling. It's a nice touch and helps keep the focus on what's happening in the world, though there will likely be an option to keep the HUD active at all times. Changing Weather Another interesting touch is the ability to change the weather and time of day after completing the game. This may not sound all that useful unless specific quests and missions only happen during specific weather conditions and times of day. However, it does allow for capturing some very cool shots all the more easily with the game's photo mode. The City That Never Sleeps Details Those who burn through Spider-Man incredibly quick will have post-launch DLC to look forward to. In a recent update, Insomniac confirmed that the City That Never Sleeps DLC actually consists of three chapters. 
Chapter 1 The Heist is out on October 23rd, while Chapters 2 and 3 are out in November and December respectively. Each chapter brings new suits, story missions, enemies, and much more for Spider-Man to tackle. They retail for $9.99 each, but paying $24.99 will net the entire DLC bundle. Insomniac's Largest Team Yet Insomniac Games has worked on some big projects before with franchises like Ratchet & Clank and Resistance to its name. However, for Spider-Man, Insomniac has assembled its largest team ever. The number of development team members wasn't confirmed, but given the production values, size of the open world, story, and combat, there must be a hefty amount of resources dedicated to bringing Spider-Man to the PS4. Non-Scaling Enemies Throughout the game, Spider-Man can level up and unlock new abilities, which is normal for any open world game. If you're worried that enemies will scale up to match your newfound strength, well, don't be. Insomnia confirmed in a conversation with Reddit user CKA Reddit that enemy levels won't scale over the course of the story. However, threats do grow over time, so expect your foes to be more heavily armed, if not more numerous, later on. Day 1 Patch and Story Length As is the case with many AAA games, Spider-Man will have a Day 1 Patch. Insomniac's community lead James Stevenson recently confirmed this, and while the overall size of the patch and its details weren't confirmed, we do know that a minimum of 45 GB free space will be needed for the game. Stevenson also confirmed that the main story lasts 20 hours on the default difficulty. This doesn't include side missions or activities, so there's still plenty to keep players busy after the story ends. That'll be it for this video. If you like what we're doing, please go ahead and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.